Here is the plasma flame oscillator I made. This is a breakout point and the resonant coil. Here is a air gap capacitor. It's a variable capacitor made of a candy cane. Here is a 750 picofarad, 12 kilovolts ceramic capacitor to block the high voltage. In the case that the air gap between two plates break down, uh, if you don't use this capacitor, your tube grid may be destroyed. Here is the anode block inductor. Here is the grid lead resistors and the grid block choke. Here's the high voltage power supply, filament power supply, and a high voltage diode rating about 7 kV, 1 amp, and 2 microwave oven capacitors. Total, the capacity is around 2 microfarads. And here is a vacuum tube made by RCA 810 tube. And uh, this one here is also the, is the same tube. You can see 81 RCA. Uh, the plate dissipation is rated around 100 watts, and the anode voltage is around 2.5 kilovolts. Now let's see it running. First, I need to turn off my light because the radiation would interfere the LED drive circuit and uh, it would blow up the light. I blow up a light yesterday, so I need to turn it off. And uh, then you use uh, anything which would uh, uh, have which has a uh, isolation from the metal as a screwdriver to light up the arc. Okay, let's power up this thing. Turn on the power filament. Oh, isn't that goes up? Maybe it's not connected well. Let me try it again. I turn off the high voltage and see if the filaments light up maybe it's okay now it's okay now I turn on the high voltage again turn on the power okay So what you have saw is a high voltage, high frequency oscillator and uh, the voltage at this point is very high, you should be careful. Uh, though this thing um, is very simple but you need to calculate the how many turns this coil need to have and uh, you need to keep in mind that this choke and this choke should be winded like this. You see, in different parts to eliminate the capacitance between each turn of wind. Uh, this will eliminate the capacity from this here to there. So it will block the high frequency power only uh, in our oscillating circuit. Uh, here is a small tube, a uh, pentode tube, oh, not a uh, tetrod tube, made in China, but it was damaged uh, by this circuit.
I use this tube as a oscillator tube uh, yesterday and uh, this tube you can see here it's melted the plate is melted this tube is very special because uh, it has two plates in one tube but only one cathode and it has two grids, two different uh, grids. You can view it as uh, two vacuum tubes connected uh, with their cathode connected together and uh, other uh, electrodes uh, in different parts. This is very special too. Okay, thanks for your patient and uh, that's all about this thing uh, maybe uh, I'm sure in in uh, around uh, July this year July I would made make another more powerful oscillating circuit like this I would use a tube which has a great dissipation around 10 kilowatts and a more stronger power supply like this one. Uh, this high voltage transformer, I will I take it from my uh, high frequency amplifier for my uh, SB to uh, no FT ATC the the transmitter. I use that with my home bro uh, amplifier. I took one high voltage transformer from here. Uh, because that high voltage transformer is only rated about 700 watts and this is 1 kilowatt each uh, in July this year I would order another maybe 8 or 9 these transformers and uh, all in parallel to make a more powerful RF oscillator if you want to say that please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, thank you very much